Flowers, candles, and cards have been placed outside Houston's NRG Center, the site of the Travis Scott's Astro World Music Festival, where eight young people were killed when a crowd of fans surged toward the stage Friday night. I'm honestly just devastated. Scott, one of music's hottest young stars, took to Instagram. As reports surfaced, the rapper continued to perform for over half an hour while first responders were administering CPR and picking up bodies. Videos do show Scott at one point stopping and asking security for help. Anytime I can make out, you know, anything that's going on, you know, I, you know, I just stop the show and, you know, help them get the help they need. But it's not the first time there's been trouble at one of Scott's concerts. He pleaded guilty to a misdemeanor in 2015 after fans jumped a security barricade at a Chicago concert and a second misdemeanor after Arkansas police say he urged fans to rush the stage during a 2017 concert. Festival goers say Friday night's event was chaos. Everyone was just going down, people were getting trampled. It was just terrible all around. I had my water backpack on and I'm fortunately was used to the squishing, so I just thank God that I'm alive. Houston police are investigating whether people near the front of the stage were drugged after reports a security officer was pricked with a needle. He was reaching over to uh, restrain or grab a citizen and he felt a prick in his neck. When he was examined, he went unconscious. They administered Narcan. He was revived. Live Nation, the concert promoter, reportedly did not use the PA system or video boards to broadcast any safety messages. Multiple investigations are underway. The families of those who died and everybody affected deserve answers. And that's why I'm calling for an objective, independent investigation. Live Nation provided 755 security officers in addition to over 520 Houston police officers to handle the sold out crowd of 50,000. But it wasn't enough to stop this tragedy. Jennifer Johnson, Global News, Washington.